the Leafs crush the Canucks. Seven to three. Now, just want to make it clear that I didn't actually get to see this game. I had some other stuff that I had to do, so um, kind of disappointed that I missed out on Spezza's coming back party of uh, turning the clock back because all I saw on Twitter and everything was how <laughs> they were just saying about how Babcock benched him in his, uh, uh, I believe, thousandth game, and his family was in town and everything, so now you look at today and you think, like, He's getting hat tricks and everything, but nonetheless, let's get right into it. So obviously I did have to watch the highlights of the game, and that's never the way that you want to do it, but sometimes you just have to make it work that way. So to make it one nothing, Austin Matthews with a beautiful rush, uh, a turnover by the Canucks inside the Leaf zone led to him taking the defenseman on the outside, and he stumbled a little bit, and that was just what Matthews needed. His shot doesn't need much room and he just put it five hole on Thatcher Demko, so making it one nothing. And Demko may be expecting him to shoot high uh, when he's coming in that fast on you with that really wide stance, you're not really sure where he's going to go, and Matthews has shown the ability to shoot anywhere that he wants on a goalie. Now a couple minutes later, Tanner Pearson would tie it with a goal, his fourth of the season, so tied at one. And now on the power play is where Spezza would get his first of the night, and maybe thinking it wouldn't be that big of a night because... Spezza has been just consistent at this season, looking good, so I don't think anyone was expecting more than a goal out of him, but nonetheless, the second power play unit gets a goal, Spezza gets it, 2-1 Leafs. This play that I saw was really nice, and just another amazing high IQ play by Mitch Marner. He's almost three quarters of the way to the other side of the back of the net, and he decides to drop it on the backhand, and Matthews just taps it in. And you know it works when the defenseman and the goalie both have their heads looking the other way towards Marner and they don't pick up on that. He has made that drop pass. Now only a few seconds later, uh, around 20 seconds later, Bo Horvat would score a really nice cross crease and Anderson didn't have much of a chance on that, but really good uh, attempt by Anderson because even if he did get a glove on it, I, holding on to it would have been very difficult and those, that's a really tough ask from the team to the goaltender to make that kind of save. Answering back again, Jason Spezza with a beautiful shot and just showing that he still has a really amazing shot and that's just something that he hasn't lost with age. It's more of his speed but that also was shown off later in this game. He just looked really good and I watched the extended highlights so it wasn't just the goal highlights, it was something that would get me uh, a nice look at the overall game although you 15 minutes of highlights, you're never going to get that full 60-minute experience of actual game time. But Spezza was looking really good all over the place, and I wasn't surprised that he beat uh, Demko with that shot. That was just an absolute bullet. At 17.56 of the second period, John Tavares scores and gets his 350th career NHL goal. And I didn't actually know he had this many goals coming into the season. I knew a couple games ago when they were mentioning that he was at 349. I didn't know that he was that close to 400 already. And if he plays this contract out and plays to the potential of this contract, you'd think he would get close to maybe even 500 goals. Hopefully he does that in a Leafs uniform because I think the last time we saw someone do that was Matt Sundin. And the third period is where Jason Spezza would strike again. He took the puck up the ice and did his patented inside-outside move. And the side, this time he cut, used his shoulder to block off the defenseman and went right around Demko. And he had him pretty bad. Now, it kind of seems like the players don't respect the older players in a way of... I don't think Demko really thought he was going to successfully pull the puck around him that effectively. And I think the defenseman thought that... If he was to attempt any one of his dekes, like he's not going to be able to do it because of his age. But it shows that sometimes he just is able to get that extra little strength and motivation and kind of turn the clock back a little bit. And he did it successfully. And it's awesome to see because Spezza was one of the best at just those little quick dekes. And uh, goals that come to mind are the one uh, where he did that really insane inside-outside move 
top shelf like in like the early 2000s and his play that he made against the Winnipeg Jets when he just like had the puck on a string went around deked a bunch of guys just awesome it's like vintage Spezza and it's awesome to see when he still is able to do it. Now the game would end with JT Miller getting a chance for the Canucks and scoring and then Mitch Marner getting another goal and that would end the game 7-3 to three. Shots were 37 to 19 for the Leafs. Just a trend that we are seeing that is something we never saw in the years past of outshooting the opponents in any situation for a win or even in a loss or just keeping the shots close. And we have been blowing opponents out with our shot differential. And that is something that if we are going to keep going forward with this trend and for the playoffs, you need to outshoot them. You can't be relying on your goalie. And also, just seeing Wayne Simmons contributing again with a fight uh, with Jordy Ben. Nonetheless, he's a really tough guy. Maybe not uh, as like lanky and crazy swinging arms as Jamie Ben, his brother, is, but he's a really tough guy. And Simmons really held his own, and I, like he won the fight. Yeah. So I mean, it was pretty weird being away from the camera for like a whole week because I uh, I know I missed out on the two games prior. But that was just uh, personal things were going on that, like, had to be taken care of. So, I mean, I'm not going to be able to guarantee 82 games in a season or anything like that going forward. And I will make up for it. I will try to talk about it. And also just, you know, the Leafs having the big break until Thursday of yesterday. And they play the Canucks two times in the next four days. So that's definitely just getting back into the groove of things. I can feel like I'm a little bit rusty, so that's just something that is going to come with time of me just having consistent videos and just getting in the flow of things. I hope everyone's enjoying the Leafs being number one in the NHL again. Uh, one, two with Montreal the other day, and we just leapfrogged them. And like we are trying to get home ice in the playoffs, that's something that we got to push for and win this division because that will be a huge confidence boost. Hope everyone is enjoying this season. I think it's got started off to in a way that we definitely didn't expect but we could have asked for in our wildest dreams uh, first place in the National Hockey League is something that I'm really proud of to say that that's my team don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys after the next game